All right, so we're here today, guys. We just wanted to do a quick little take. Um, this past Friday, uh, the pastors, the three of us got together um, as we've just been feeling the burden of trying to uh, figure out how we're going to do ministry. And there's certainly a lot of pressure. Lots of different churches are doing things differently. So we're, we're feeling the, the weight of that. And, uh, you know, we felt disconnected from one another. So we got together, socially distanced, a little bit more space than this, and had a conversation for a whole day. And the, the operating question that we asked for ourselves was what's God teaching us right now what's he saying to us um, and then what might that mean for the church and so maybe you guys can just share uh, briefly like what God has been saying to you specifically um, and then we'll talk about what that looks like for what that means for the church uh, yeah so for me I, I think that that word captures it all pressure right just feeling pressure that I have to do something I have to do something for the church I have to do something in my own life and just pursuing what is that thing that I'm trying to do and it just brought pressure and so um, that's what I thought was the good thing that's what I thought I needed to do what the Lord wanted me to do but as I wrestled through that and and struggled with the failure of not getting things done the Lord led me to Psalm 73 and so I, this verse really crystallized in my mind what the issue is in Psalm 73 verse 28 it says but it is good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord God that I may declare all your works. And that's it. What's good for me, what's good for the church is to draw near to God, particularly in this time. We need to draw near to him. Bottom line. Yeah, yeah. Totally resonate with that. How about you, Chris? Yeah, I would echo similar sentiments of that. Um, I guess what I've seen is not only is there the the pressure, but a lot of people just kind of speculating, I guess, to, to what God is up to and, and what is, you know, is there some deficiency in his church or in the culture or whatever uh, perspective on that. And really, I guess, uh, just looking at Jesus's words from Luke 13 about, you know, where he's, you know, looking at tragedy and saying, you know, don't speculate, but take time to reflect, you know, most importantly on the fragility of life and are you are you right with God? And that's where I think the gospel comes in, um, that, you know, God is his people. Uh, he loves us. He cares about us. We're in Christ. We're forgiven. And therefore, we don't need to um, really get right with him by doing all of these things. And so the most important thing that we can do right now is just feast on that gospel. Remember who we are in Christ. And, um, and, and just really also that impacted me. Really the first two weeks of this whole thing were really hard for me because I just felt that urgency to do and really burnt myself out in, in making calls and stressing myself out, agonizing over where people are. And the Lord was very gracious to show me saying, I got this, I'm Lord of the church, I'm holding this together, not you. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. I feel like for me, very similarly, um, the Lord just really challenged me that my doing for God always has to come secondary to my being with God. Um, and uh, that I, I have that propensity to want to do more for God. Part, part of that is I think God might be more pleased with that, at least mm -hmm. unconsciously. Um, but it's also just part of how I'm wired, right, to, to be productive. Um, and I, I think I've been realizing what has been saying to me through that is the most productive thing you can do right now is be with me. Mm -hmm. Be with me, be in my presence, know me. My sheep hear my voice and they know me. And so what I think that we're all becoming pretty persuaded of is, is the thing God's saying to, to all of us is that the best leaders are the best followers and we need to hear God's voice and what is he saying. And so for, for us, the verse that you shared, Dennis, is what I think we've really come down on is what do we need to be about right now? It's draw near. 